what's up YouTube okay so I'm here with one of my new student Rochelle say hi to the camera Rochelle <laughs> so Rochelle is going to be my fourth student that I'm following through the series okay see the light the cars mm -hmm. like stop there like look okay. look over here okay. and when it's clear here we're gonna just go ahead and make a right turn into the right lane this time this right lane. yes so as soon as these cars are gone then we're going to make the, the right turn. All right, go ahead, turn right. Take your time, stay in the right lane. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Rochelle agrees, agreed to be in the series. So today is her first episode. We're gonna, we're actually in Deerfield Beach in South Florida. Well, we're, yeah, we're, this is Deerfield. So we're gonna drive down to Deerfield Beach and we're gonna show you how she's doing. She's not a complete beginner. Um, you will notice that a lot of my students are not complete beginners. Very rarely do I find people that's never driven before. So most of the people have some experience. She is a bit nervous, but we're gonna get her nice and comfy, right? Alright, cool. So we're gonna go down to the beach and see what's going on on Deerfield Beach. I went to Fort Lauderdale, I drove by Fort Lauderdale Beach yesterday and it was ridiculously crowded. No mask. No mask? <laughs> no mask. None? None. I Zero. Like, I, I think I saw like one or two black girls mm -hmm. with masks on and then I see a few people with masks, you know, under their chin. Uh -huh. And But yeah, the crowds are kind of large and no mask at all. I'm like, wow. That was just Miami and it was packed, but people still had on their masks. In Miami? Mm -hmm. That's kind of strange. But I guess it was a facility because it was like dead. Oh, yeah, if, if it's inside of a place? It was like outside by the marina. Oh, okay. But I guess maybe. Yeah, I mean, some people are being serious about it, but honestly, there's a lot more people that is not serious about it. People are basically just going about their business as if there is no pandemic. You feel me? Like it now go on no more. You feel me? Like I don't get it. I don't get it. But it's like whatever. Like I've seen the parties, especially in Atlanta. Yeah. I want to go visit my brother, but it's just so it's crazy. Well, he lives in Atlanta. Yeah, he lives in Georgia. Okay. So you've seen the parties up there. Yeah, the parties are happening here too. I. Mm -hmm. I have friends, I mean, I have a sound system, I have a big sound system. So, you know, we are kind of involved in the music thing like that. I haven't done anything since the pandemic started, except I've been like rebuilding my sound system. Planning on when the world opens back up to start doing some things, you know what I mean? Do you DJ? Well, I am not personally the DJ. My brother is the, the, the DJ. Mm -hmm. I am the engineer on the sound. I build the sound system. You know, like the big sounds in Jamaica. Uh -huh. What big sound, you know? Stone Love? No. Okay, so you don't know no big song. <laughs> I mean, I know dance song. You know dance song, yeah. okay. So Stone Love is a big song. Bodyguard, Inner City, Travelers, Renaissance. Those are the original big songs, right? Mm -hmm. So we used to play with a lot of those big songs. The same thing. Well, yeah, we, we, you know, we, we play. And it, you know, you see the, the, the sound system, the big sound system with towers of speakers. Mm -hmm. Concert style speakers. Yeah, that's, that's what I have. So I build the system and I make sure the system plays the way well, it's supposed to. So that's my job. I see you the engineer. I'm the engineer. I gotta make sure it sounds good. Right. And my brother is the guy that I have a video on, on YouTube on my channel. Mm -hmm. Like the last video on my channel mm -hmm. is him. We did like a little session at um Broward Regional Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was playing. I mean, he plays turntable actually. Everybody else is playing laptops. Oh, he still does. He turntable? still does turntable. He's what? original, <laughs> and he's wicked too. He's like really, really wicked. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, yeah, we've been rebuilding, waiting for the world to open back up so we can start promoting some parties. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, we have a party that we're starting. We're gonna be planning on starting. We're gonna call it Brain Freeze actually. Right? Brain Freeze, yes. So it's a, it's a dance of soca like all of the you know like the parties that is out there uh 
Yeah. Which have you gone to any of the, the, the big parties? Yeah, I went to uh, what was the name of that one? It was the last one before everything shut down. Okay, um, which one is it? I don't the, it was the, so the, the one with the what's it called? With the, with the cool is the name of a cooler. There's one called Sands, there's one called Chill, mm -hmm. and then there's the big one. I don't know how come I don't remember the big one right now. I don't think it was a big one. It was a good amount of people. Yeah. It was right when the pandemic was happening, but people were still... Where was it at? It was in Miami. I don't, uh. I don't know direction. <laughs> <laughs> but it was in Miami at this place. Yo, there's a lot of parties, but mm -hmm. our party, what we're going to do, we, the, 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 the brain freeze, mm -hmm. we're going to give away like frozen daiquiris to like the first first couple of hundred girls uh, yeah so every 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 party that we keep we're gonna have a, a machine set up mm -hmm. and we're gonna give away free drinks, free drinks to the girls so that's the name of that's the name of that party that we plan to launch as soon as the world opens back up is there age or age of party nah but you don't know the parties them jamaican parties yeah. don't nobody be you know what i mean <laughs> No one Nobody. It's not like a club or nothing like that. You feel me? So it's yeah, it's whatever. But yeah, we're waiting for that for the place to open back up, and uh, then we're gonna start that. Did you have like a pool or like the water things with the soap? Whatever. You mean the super soaker the thing? Super soaker you talk, you're talking about um. Yeah, what's the name? I'm, I I know the guys that promote that part. Mm -hmm, the foam machine. The foam machines and some of them spraying you with paint and yeah. all of that. Juve. The party Juve. name Juve. Okay. Yeah. Have yeah, but they they you, you go to Juve? I haven't been to it yet. My friend has been. Juve is wild. They have drums of paint, mm -hmm. like watered down paint. Slow down, see the bus stop in here. And don't go too close to it. You stop it at a point uh -huh. where you can see the tire on the bus. Okay. All right. Yeah, Juve, the party, that thing is wild. You go to Juve and you go in your pretty clothes thinking you're going to come back home in there. No. Nope. You're going to be looking quite messy. You have to go in like, I know my friend were all white, like a white tank top. Hey. As, as you, the splatters. As you say that, right? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you my, my Juve story. So I went to Juve, the actual carnival that they keep at Broward Central Regional Park. Mm -hmm. Every year they do the carnival with the trucks and the music and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I decided, my fr one of my friends was actually doing the sound at Juve. Right. So I decided that I'm going to go and I'm a Ralph Lauren type of guy, right? I wear Ralph Lauren. Everywhere we take, almost every video you see, you're gonna see me in Ralph Lauren. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have on like a similar outfit to this, except it was a white Ralph Lauren shirt, white pants, mm -hmm. white shoes. Mm -hmm. To Juve. Did you know it was gonna get? Yeah, but color? listen, listen to my reasoning. <laughs> everybody asks me that, bro. Why would you wear white to Juve? Mm -hmm. I was not planning on being in a crowd at Juve. My friends was on the truck. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna go on the truck. Right. You feel me? Oh. So I wasn't gonna be getting in involved the in, the, in, in the festivities. I'm just gonna be on the truck watching. Mm -hmm. That was the plan. So I walk in past everybody, right? The, the, the trucks are driving through. People are wild. Mm -hmm. People are in there dancing and carrying on and throwing paint and whatever. So I see some old people sitting across the way like i mean literally across the way right can i get over yeah go ahead right here yeah so these old people are over there just chilling watching the festivities so i'm like okay this looks like, like a safe place to watch from mm -hmm. you know without you know running the danger of getting all painted up. up so i'm i'm probably 100 feet or more from the festivities i'm behind a fence right right not expecting to get so this dude beamed in on me like a laser like he saw me from across the way uh -huh. and in his mind this dude is in white he shouldn't be here you feel me exactly. so this nigga slow down you see the brake lights right whenever you mm -hmm. see those brake lights then you slow, slow down. down yes yeah this dude ran across the place ran across the field mm -hmm. run up to me and 
dashed a whole can of blue paint on, on it. On purpose. On purpose. Like, and the, 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 the old people look at him and they're like, why would you do that? You dumb behind or whatever. Mm -hmm. They cussed him. I mean, right. trying to cuss on the video. <laughs> but they're like, you're so stupid. Why would you do that? Exactly. And I'm looking at the dude and I'm like, wow. I, I didn't even have words because I mean, you're covered in paint. Yeah, I was just trying to just keep my composure because, you know, at the moment I felt like, yo. <laughs> uh -huh. So I just like look at the guy and shake my head, you know? But it was a whole like drum of paint? Yeah, like like one of those, like a gallon thing. And he uh -huh. just ran across with it and just flash it on me like that, head to toe. Well, we shall see you <laughs> I was like, yeah, but you know how much that souvenir is? Uh-huh. But you have to expect it when you go to like an event. Yeah, like, I hear that. I hear that. Gonna... I hear that. But if you're trying not to be in the festivities, mm -hmm. okay, we're gonna go in the middle lane. Mm -hmm. Go behind this person. Right now? Gradually, gradually. Go ahead. Yeah. You see, as long as you don't like slow down drastically to do mm -hmm. it, right? Like in this case, we're coming to a stop, so you really couldn't speed up. Right. Feel me, but you don't stop. You don't slow down just drastically. Kinda just just kind of ease over. over, nice and smooth. Just take your foot and, off the gas and just gradually go over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like I was saying, the, um, yeah, I, I get it. If you're going to Juve and you're trying to be in the mix, mm -hmm. you put on some old tear up T-shirt and rare and whatever and go in it. Mm -hmm. But that's never been my style. I don't wear you those things. Have to go out. <laughs> I don't wear those things at all. Mm -hmm. So, and I've gone to several Jubes. Right. And I'm always on top of the truck, so it's no big deal. You feel me? So that was the first time. It's the first time. Clean. This dude just felt like he was too clean. Mm hmm. He had to. <laughs> I was he like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have did what I should have did because I couldn't help myself, but mm -hmm. I, I kept my composure. <laughs> I was just like, dude, really? Were you a good sport about it though, or did you curse him out? Too? I didn't curse him out. I uh, didn't say anything because what I felt like doing, I couldn't do. So I was just like, "This gonna be fun." Yeah, I just looked at him and shake my head. <laughs> so did you go party with the rest of them after? Or what did no, you I get the went on the truck oh, like you I went planned. Back on the truck? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get on the truck yet because the truck was on the oh. way in. You understand? So I, I kind of went in to watch what's going on while my truck was coming in. It's coming in. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I, I went ahead of the truck. I should have stayed on the truck. <laughs> in retrospect, right? All right. But it was meant to happen. Yeah. So I was just like, wow. So yeah, when I go back to Juve, I guess I'll put on a t-shirt of some sort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't care. Clothes you don't care about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do that. But I definitely wear all white only because I want like the patterns of the paint. <laughs> yeah, but if you're wearing an all white. If you go to the corner store and get a, a white tee for how much for them things? Three dollars. Exactly. $3. Exactly. And you go to the soft shop and buy a white short that you don't mm -hmm. care about. And go to Payless and buy some five dollar shoes or whatever. Exactly. You feel me? Because you're going to Juve and you don't care mm -hmm. if it gets damaged. Or some white horses you don't care about. Exactly. Some old ones that you've had for ten years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not me though, I'd probably wear new ones. Exactly. So I could get you see? The paint. You see? So you would keep it? Yeah, I keep it. Just like <laughs> to have this paint splatters on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it still washes off though. Yeah, because the paint that they paint. the paint that they use, yeah, it's washable. It's washable. Cause that outfit I still have it. Mm hmm I just bleach it. Because it was light? white. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> as long as yeah, it, it was comes white. out, it's good. The only thing that happened to it, you see like you see like how this mm -hmm. logo is white? Mm hmm it's It was a anymore. it was a white shirt. Right. And then the the logo turned white also, so you couldn't even tell it's a Ralph Lauren shirt. Oh. So that's the only thing that happened to when it. When you bleached it. When you bleached it, it was just like a all, all white shirt. So yeah. <laughs> you can't even tell. You can't tell what it is, but it's still the same shirt. So, so it's what like was the whatever. color of the logo before you bleached it? It was like blue. Oh. Yeah, it was blue. Yeah. But I was like, bro, like what is your problem? That dude was so idiotic. I was just like, why would you do that? Like, I can't, I can't even imagine, mm -hmm. like, seeing a person and just running out of my way to get them. To get them for what? For what? <laughs> he just had to. He had to. And if I, if I did what I should have done, then no. he'd be like, damn, bro. Oh, okay, you this see, one? I literally just changed lane without even knowing it. <laughs> it I know, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, but you got you gotta be careful with that because there was no car there, so it's fine. But what if there was? 
<laughs> exactly. So yeah, that's. Yeah, but you'll be fine. You're not really doing bad, actually. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing good. You're gonna be. You're gonna get your license for sure. I really want it because I was like looking at cars, and my mom's like, "Why are you looking at cars when you can't even drive?" I'm like, "Listen, because I plan to point. drive." Exactly. <laughs> What kind of car are you looking at? I want a two-door Honda Accord. Okay, those are cool. The sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those so are found, those are really nice. Right. So I found one that was like it was like a 2004. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to find it. Okay, so you want to buy one? I want to buy it. Cash. Yeah. So it was like a. That's 2004. the best deal, though. Mm -hmm. You seen the video that I just put out? I didn't get to watch. On how it, to buy the buy yeah the. the cheap reliable car mm -hmm. watch that video because that, that video it. gives you detailed information that's going to be useful when you're buying that specific car mm -hmm. because yeah that's what you're supposed to do buy a, a if you don't want to make payment mm -hmm. and you want a good used car that video is, is priceless trust me really? yeah <laughs> you buy all your cars like that? i buy every car like that i've never made a car payment ever I don't like every car that i have i buy just like that. I buy I never I've never owned a brand new car. Um most of my students actually want new cars because they think new cars is what's up. And it's like more power to you. I mean it's everybody, you know, they're paying their own bills. So if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do, right? For me personally, I read a book when I was like 17. Mm -hmm. Call we make the same in this lane here. This one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I read a book when I was 17 called The Millionaire Next Door. Mm -hmm. And I learned then that most self made millionaires, people that started small businesses and build their way up and mm -hmm. become millionaires car. buy used cars, mm -hmm. three year three year old cars. Yeah. And four three to four year old cars. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they say they do that is because they want the person that needs, that have a need to buy a new car to take the depreciation. Oh, yeah. Because as soon as you leave the car lot it with it, the thing depreciates. So mm -hmm. in three years when you buy it, it's worth they're it buying more. it for what they think is actually worth. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Exactly. So, you know, somebody buy the car for 50 grand today, three years later, you can buy it for 17 grand. Mm -hmm. Which is the actual worth. The, the what is what it's worth? <laughs> you feel me? So take your time around the corner. So yeah, I kind of live by that. That's how I buy cars. Every car that I've ever owned, I've bought like that. Okay, so we're gonna go to the right lane. Signal. And go ahead, gently. Right now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're very hesitant about that. <laughs> Once you look and it's clear, mm -hmm. then you just go. You can't, you know, here you're gonna go slow because traffic and whatnot. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I, 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 I live by that. I don't ever, I've never owned a brand new car. Mm -hmm. And ironically, I am actually in a position that I can make payment on any new car that I want. Not. But I'd prefer not to. Yeah, it's not necessary. I prefer really to use to. my money and go to Africa and mm -hmm. all over the world. That's what I use my money for. I travel a lot. So instead of making $800 car payment, mm -hmm. I'd rather buy a yeah. ticket. Yeah, a trip for three weeks to Africa. <laughs> exactly. You feel me? That's what I do. But yeah, the cars that I buy, when you see my cars though, they look nice. Because mm -hmm. I have some of them on the videos. Mm -hmm. They look like a million bucks, but they're you not new. Deal. <laughs> yeah. They're not brand new cars. They look... See, but, I, but the thing with me though, make a left. Follow the road, actually. The road. What, I, what I like to do is... I buy cars that don't change often mm -hmm. for my personal car right like if you're buying a inexpensive car then you can buy the japanese brands like i recommend you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying but for me i like bmw oh that's fine yeah the white one. yeah and the reason i like bmw is because they don't change them often it's the same it stays world. the same for many years mm -hmm. so it stays current for many years right you understand so my car is not looking old in three years if you buy the other more economical brands mm -hmm. which are actually really good cars every three years they change them they so change the before you know it your car is looking old exactly. and you're, you're like feeling pressured to get the newest one that's mm -hmm. what people do by the way 
you know, they, there's this big pressure to be to have the latest yes. model. You feel me? Yeah, put yourself in. It put yourself in problems. So as soon as the latest model comes out and it looks different than the one you have, you, you feel like you have to get it. I am definitely not that guy. I don't give two craps. <laughs> if my car looks good and runs good, you drive it. I am good. I'm not competing with anybody. I couldn't care less. I would most definitely prefer to Traveling. travel the world. Yeah. I want to see the entire world. I'm the same way. Because yeah. all my friends have new cars or like, like new cars mm. and they paid a lot of money. Like and they're struggling people. to make the payment every month. Well, they're not struggling. That's the well, thing. some people are though. That's true. They're not going to tell you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, how would you know? Exactly. They're not going to call you, hey, Rochelle, I can't make my, my car, car payment. payment. Yeah. They'd rather hide the car in somebody's garage than tell you that. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. The some point is, people do that a lot. Yeah. Some of them are doing well. Like, mm -hmm. I guess they use financial aid or whatever else. But that's so, that, fine. that's not well, though. Uh, Think about it. That's true. If you have to use financial aid to pay for your car payment, uh -huh. you are most definitely not doing well. That's true. <laughs> your bill is surviving. <laughs> Which means you should not be buying a car with a car payment you should save up your couple of thousand dollars the smart thing when you get these financial aid payments and whatever uh -huh. whatever you have left over you get a couple of payments together mm -hmm. save them up till you have like five grand buy a nice little car exactly something that can get you that around. yes well you can buy a pretty decent car actually for five grand mm -hmm. if you know where to look and what to look for that's actually my budget but i'm trying to i'm gonna wait a little longer because i want something you want, you want something nicer? Yeah. Well, the see you're doing it the smart way. And then just buy a nice car mm -hmm. and then have no payment. Yeah. You know how good it feels when I could go outside and jump in my little convertible and go to the beach? And, no one's and everybody's beaming and looking at me like, wow, mm -hmm. and I have no payment? And no one's going to run you down for it. <laughs> exactly. I have no payment. Never did. It's a really, really good feeling when you know you don't own anything. Well, yeah, you, you don't owe anything you on your anything. vehicle. Yeah, the only thing I want to have monthly payment on like that is my mortgage. And I'm planning on paying that off. Oh. That's my plan. I'm going to pay, pay double mortgage on it. Try to pay it down in the next five years. Mm -hmm. That's the smart way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, the point is I want to be able to get up and just whatever money I make, I just do what I want with it and don't have to worry about having these bills hanging me. So now we're up in Boca, you see that? Mm-hmm, we've gotten pretty far. <laughs> and you're doing great. Thank you. you. don't seem all that nervous. You see when we're talking, you, the nerves goes away, away, don't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm just scared to like run against the sofa, but yeah. that's why I'm just trying to Yeah, that's why, that's why when, I, when I do my driving lessons, I'm sure you've seen them. Mm -hmm. We talk, we talk all the time. Because mm -hmm. the more you're talking, the less you're worrying about the road, yeah, the road and driving. You, you're paying attention because I'm paying attention. Even though I'm talking, you're paying attention. I see everything that you're doing. So mm -hmm. if you do anything wrong, I'm there to help you if you need it. Mm -hmm. But the point is, you must be able to multitask. Yeah, you've got to be able to talk and drive at the same time. Because you're going to be doing that. You're not going to be in the car with your friends. Oh, don't see nothing. I'm driving. Like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to learn how to do it. You got to learn how to do it. So I make sure. I keep my students talking. talking and engaged, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So what countries have you been to so far? What countries have I been to? Okay, I've been to a bunch of countries in Africa. I've mm -hmm. been I've been to Dubai. Okay. I've been to Cape Town, South Africa. I've been to Johannesburg. I've been to Swaziland. I've been to Zimbabwe. Have you been uh, to Sudan? No, I've not been to Sudan. We were supposed to go to Ghana last year, but because of COVID, that didn't happen. We were supposed to go to a, a music festival called Afro Teller. Oh, I think it's right there. Yeah. Afro, yes, Afro. Afro it's an Afro music festival. Yeah, uh -huh. we were supposed to do that in December. That didn't happen. So, yeah, Africa, we went to Egypt mm -hmm. last two, October 2019. Um, on this, and in Europe, I went to London. I went to London twice. Mm -hmm. I went to Spain, different parts of Spain, like three three different times, Barcelona, Spain, mm -hmm. and different different parts of Spain. I went to France three times. Um, I went to yeah, I went to, to, to France, I went to um, Paris, mm -hmm. I went to Nice, 
and Normandy in France. Those are, uh, yeah. Which uh, one do you like the most? Paris. Paris. Paris is nice. Yeah. So yeah, and and then I went to Italy. I went all over Italy actually. Study abroad in Italy. Yeah, Italy is is nice too. I went to, I went to Greece. I went all over Greece. Mm -hmm. I went to Turkey. I went to Portugal. Um, I think that's all for, for Europe. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, I've been to most Caribbean islands multiple times. I've been to Canada. Um, I've been to Grand Cayman. I've been to Bermuda. I've been to Bermuda. I've been to St. Thomas probably 12 times. 12? Well, more than 12. Because my wife is from St. Thomas. So I've been there multiple times. I've been to St. Kitts like three times. Mm -hmm. I've been to Nevis, St. Croix, okay, Anguilla. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've, I've been to most of them. Okay. I have not been to Barbados. Mm -hmm. And there's a few islands that I have not been. I've been to Haiti. Haiti. Yeah, I've been I've been Mexico like seven or eight times. Did you go to Tulum? Tulum? Mm -hmm. No. I go to the when you the, the, I go to the the tourist parks. <laughs> well, because I usually most of these places that I go to though, mm -hmm. I go on cruises. Oh. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I cruise. Like one time I cruised from here, it was a 21 day cruise. And yeah, we started in Miami, stopped in Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And then from Bermuda, we went to, to Portugal. So we went to two different Portuguese islands, Parta mm -hmm. and Ponte Delgado. That's they call the Azores Islands. On one trip. And one yeah, so we went to Bermuda, Portugal. First time in Spain was that trip. Mm -hmm. First time when we went to France was on that trip. We cruised into Normandy and then we took a bus from Normandy to Paris. Then we did like a lunch cruise in Paris. Mm -hmm. And then we went from Paris. So we went from Portugal to Spain, Spain to, to France, France to London. What? And then we stayed in London for like five days. So that was the first trip to Europe. That was 21 whole days. 21 days? <laughs> yeah, that was that was amazing. That was that was nice. The only trip that I've ever gone on that was nicer than that mm -hmm. was Africa. Africa is amazing. Yeah, Africa is amazing. When you, when you tell people that you go to Africa, they're like, Africa? Mm -hmm. People ask me, why would you go to Africa? I'm like, you don't understand how beautiful Africa is. This is my friend. Yeah, this, this is actually Boca. Yeah, Boca. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, people don't get how beautiful Africa is. Like, I had to pull up like videos of Cape Town, South Africa, mm -hmm. and like Johannesburg to show people. Like, they, they're like, Africa, that's how Africa look? Because in their heads, they, they think of Africa as little huts and whatever. Because mm -hmm. that's what they see on National okay. Geographic or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, Just so like they. Well, and Jamaica. Mm -hmm. They have they show these garrisons in Jamaica. And anybody from Jamaica know that beautiful. mansions everywhere. Exactly. But they show you these little thatch huts and like they that's where people live. Yeah. <laughs> like this video is going on much long. <laughs> Usually they'll go this long, but yeah. This is so beautiful, yeah, really. Yeah. No, that's my. That's what I want. A boat. A boat. A yacht or a boat. Well, for now, I want a boat. A boat. When the record label takes off, then I'll the get yacht. the yacht. <laughs> I'm realistic like that. Okay. Start at one point. Okay, you gotta creep first and then you walk, right? That's how it works. That's how it works. Okay, we're making a left here. Okay, so I'm going to end this video. This video has gone on for almost 30 minutes. So this is the longest one yet, Rochelle. Really? Yes. So yeah, you see Rochelle is doing really, really well, actually. So we're going to continue following her journey. She's doing five sessions. So I'm positive she'll get her, her driver's license in the five sessions. So this is episode one. So we're going to wrap it up here. Just continue following Rochelle. Follow Melissa, follow uh, Ayana, and stay, stay close to the left side, right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit too much. Yeah, I gotta show you. You gotta actually let go of the stand here when you finish the corner. But we'll get more into that. 
Yeah, so yeah, the other person is Sandra. So follow Sandra. Sandra has one video up. Second video is scheduled to drop in a couple of days. Melissa's third video drops in like a week and a half or so. Mm -hmm. So that's Melissa, Sandra, Ayana, and now Rochelle. So Rochelle is, wait, 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 let, me, let me put it the way, Jamaica. <laughs> Rochelle is the official Jamaican on the channel, so keep it locked, alright? I will see you guys. Don't forget to share, by the way. Share the videos. Yeah, um, like, get the like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Make a left here. And hit that bell. And again, you guys need to comment on these videos. Let me know how much you're enjoying these, you know, driving lesson videos. Slow down. And you actually the candle if you pass the as long as you cross the line before it turns to red, mm -hmm. then you're good. Stay in this left lane right here and then let go. Yeah. <laughs> see that? <ya? laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you guys on the next video.